It's August, you know what that means. Christmas is only a month from now, the rays are super strong, and that students are coming back for their classes. Now, you may have a laptop or a PC with webcam, and you notice that the quality of it is kinda subpar. So you went out shopping, or maybe you did it online, to look for webcams. However, you don't need any of that. You already have the most powerful webcam you have on your hands. That's right, your smartphone. You can turn your phone into a webcam. There are multiple apps to do it in the App Store or Play Store, but the one I use is IvyCam. Hi, my name is Rafael, and you're watching me set up IvyCam. Right now, I'm using IvyCam, and the video recorded on my PC actually syncs well with my phone. One thing you'll notice here is the large IvyCam watermark on the top left, and to me, that's not an obstruction. This happens because you're using the free version of the app. Also, when you're using the free version of the app, you will notice there's a lot of ads baked into the Android app, which you can have both removed by paying for it. I apologize for the raspy echoey voice. My room is quite messy and I haven't arranged it that well. Also, my microphone is not inserted on the top of my tripod, which I'm using right now. It doesn't have a place for it and it doesn't support a microphone stand. So that's about it. If you hear my raspy voice, I try, I'll try to edit it as much as I can uh, to make it clear for all of you. But again, this is just a sample for IvyCam and you probably have a mic at home and IvyCam supports microphones. So you can use it and your microphone together with IvyCam just like you would normally do with your normal camera app. IvyCam has loads of features including manual camera settings such as ISO, exposure compensation, focus, brightness and contrast, saturation and vibrancy, and a lot more. I will discuss all the other features later on in this video. Oh, by the way, I'm using my TCL 10 5G, particularly its 16MP front camera, as the test subject. And you can watch a review of it on the top right of this video. Oh, one more important thing to know. You may be asking, wait, does this require root? The answer is no, it actually doesn't require root and it's pretty easy to set up, which I will now discuss. Alright, as you can see, this is my phone's home screen mirrored using a third-party app called Screen Copy for Windows. Anyway, without further ado, let's install IvyCam. To do that, you have to go to the Google Play Store for Android or the Apple App Store for iOS devices. Since I'm using Android, let's go to the Google Play Store and search for IvyCam. As you can see, I already searched it up. So all you have to do now is press this green install button on the right and wait until it's installed. It might depend on your internet connection, but as you can see, with me, it seems to be really instant. All you have to do now is press this open button and it will ask for some permissions, most notably your camera and the audio so that you can record it and use it while at the same time. Normally, I only use while using the app so it doesn't use background resources. So let's do that now, while using the app and while using the app. Okay, perfect. As you can see, it's searching for the PC client of IvyCam. And if you don't have the PC client, it cannot communicate with your PC. Oh, one more thing. Since I'm using the free version of IvyCam, you might see some ads similar to this one. Don't worry, they're not intrusive, nor will they interrupt your webcam activities. And let's just close it here simply. Okay, going back. We need the PC client so that your phone can communicate with your PC and then turn it into a webcam. So let's do that now. Now, on your favorite browser, in order to install the PC client of IvyCam, you need to go to their website and download the PC client. Okay, right now, I'm in the IvyCam website. From here, you have to scroll down until you can find the download links. I'm using Windows and to be specific, Windows 11 on an Acer Aspire 5 laptop, which is a 64-bit system. So all you have to do now is click here and download it. Okay, for Opera browser, it asks you where to save it. So we'll just save it as is. Unfortunately, I already have a copy. I already have an installer of IvyCam, but I'm going to reinstall it or re-download it anyway. So there. Once it's done, you open it and follow the installer. And how powerful it is. Okay, now it's open. So all you have to do now is download, I mean install it. 
and follow the instructions given here. So let's just go next, next. Okay, these are important. You need to install the microphone so you can actually use it to talk. And you can disable this, run at startup. If you want, you can make sure every you can make IV cam run every time your PC PC is turned on. But I'll just turn it off for now. So that's it. It doesn't require much. There's no optional offers or anything like that. So it's pretty much straightforward. Now let's install it. And there you go. The PC client of IVCAM is now installed. Now one more thing that IVCAM might require to do is run USB debugging. I will talk about USB debugging. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. It's now asking me to use uh, to allow USB debugging on my Android phone. I will talk about USB debugging quite soon. But in simple terms, you can use it. You can enable this using the developer options on your Android phone. I'm not really sure how it works on iOS, but on Android, you have to use developer options. It's in there. All you have to do is enable it. As you can see, after installing IPCAM both on your phone and on your PC, you can now use your phone as a sort of webcam. Isn't that amazing? And what's important about it or what's the best thing about it is that it's not even that complicated to install. All you have to do is follow the installer and download the app from Google Play or the Apple App Store. There are other features which I mentioned earlier, such as manual camera controls, and I will discuss that now. Oh, one more thing. You can actually use IVCAM both on Google Meet and Zoom. All you have to do is tap, uh, titter, tatter to the settings, and you can set it as your camera. I don't like how I do it in OBS. Well, so that's about it about IVCAM. As I mentioned earlier, it's not that hard to install. All you have to do is download the Android app or the iOS app on Google Play or the Apple App Store as well as download the PC client. Although if you don't have a PC, that things are going to get a little harder. That's why I said this is a webcam using your phone. Instead of buying a separate webcam, you can use your phone as the webcam itself since you do use it on your PC. If you like this video, please press like. Otherwise, you can also dislike it. Any form of feedback is appreciated. Oh, one last important note before I go. IVCAM is not available for Mac OS. However, you can use it on your iPad or iPhones. This is available for iOS. So just take that small notice. That's why you don't see any Mac OS links in the website. So that's it. That's just a disclaimer. My name is Rafael and I'm a technophile. Also, I'm using the free version of IVCAM. See you soon.